Welcome back to another episode. So today we're gonna to be doing some rock fishing from shore, teaching my younger brother, the one that usually comes out with me and helps me film how to rock fish from shore using bait. It was pretty tough getting down here because we just had some heavy rain and a lot of the area was muddy. I don't know if you can see, but my shoes are hella muddy. We got the gear a little, a little dirty on the way down for bait. I have some frozen squid. We're gonna cut these into about the size of the hook, if not a little bigger. I got these into like an inch and a half, two inch pieces of bait. Like that. And see, so you don't got the you don't got the hook exposed. Single hook rig. Gotta make sure our drag's tight. The goal today is to get my brother hooked up on a fish. I don't even have a rod out. I do have an extra rod for myself, but I, I'm not even gonna touch it. I'm gonna make sure that my brother gets hooked on a fish before I do anything else. The bail's not open. <laughs> it's all good, it's all good, it's learning. That was all right. The bail wasn't, <laughs> the bail wasn't closed, or open. The bail wasn't open. You gotta open the bail. Yeah, like that. Do I open it now, right? Yes, you open it. Damn! You got it? There? Yeah. Just don't, uh, don't hook me in the head, though. Now, you might like feel like it's a bite, but it could be the current taking the the weight and just kind of moving it around, which can feel like a bite. Well, we reel it in. No, 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 you don't reel it in at all. So you just, as long as you feel the weight, you're good. And you'll know when you have a fish because you'll feel a, a tug, 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 like, and after a few tugs, set the hook and then um, and then reel. It could be just nibbling at it, but you wanna give it a few few bites. And then once you feel a, a somewhat of a good tug, then odds are it's it's in its it's in its mouth and it's in the back of the throat trying to swallow it. <laughs> you snag? I don't know. What's coming in? Huh? I was like, oh, my knee. Good? Yeah. Do you feel the weight moving at all? Or do you feel any movement? Not really. Huh? Not really. Not really? I feel like a little, little, little bobbing. Is that good? A little bobbing, but I think it's just from the waves. You know, worst case scenario, we could just bring it in and I'll re we could recast it. Right. Oh no, it's not snagged. Nope. No. Okay. Make sure you have, um, you can feel the tension of the weight. And then once you just start feeling that, boom, 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 boom. That's how you know you have fish. And then oh. with that hit, you kind of want to let it sit for a little bit longer because then they do tend to steal the bait or it'll take a bite and you know when you set the hook you'll miss it. Uh -huh. Yeah, it, 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 <laughs> that you felt that excitement though, huh? Oh yeah. It, 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 you know, sometimes you just gotta be a little patient, just let it sit for a little longer. But it's exciting though. They will put another bait on there and get it out. Hopefully that fish is still right there. Sometimes it, the waves, when it, the waves go over the line, it does like it feels like a pool, like a fish, or whatever. Or you know, with the the current, it might be blowing this way, or it might be blowing to the to the west or to the to the that way. Or it might even be bringing the weight in, which feels like a bite, huh? You snag this time? 
Hey. Hold on, just 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 hold it. To tell, so. Huh? How, how do you tell them the difference between snag and it's just kind of? Um. Well, you'll you'll know when it's snagged is like is when you can't get it out. But just let it sit there for a moment, and yeah, let it sit there for a moment, and we'll figure it out in a little bit if it is snagged. If it's not, then I don't know. Just hold it, and if you feel like little foom 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 foom, then you have a fish. Bird. Huh? Bird. Oh yeah, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. You got some slack in the water, slack in the line. Huh? You got some slack in the line. Snag. Huh? Snag. Let me see. Well, <laughs> I don't think that counts as mine. <laughs> no, we'll get you on our one right now. God, that was hilarious. My brother thought it was snag, so I took the rod, trying to get it unsnagged. Make sure, make sure the, the, the line's tight. Don't let any slack. And um, and so <laughs> I I went to yank on it because I noticed that there was some slack in the line, and the slack was over some rocks that had some muscles on it, and um, I was thinking, oh, this is going to get, you know, wrapped around, uh, you know, the rocks or some kelp. Because there's plenty of rocks and kelp out here. And I just reeled it in and I see this little patch and I was like, what, what's that patch? It just felt like dead weight. And so I was like, oh, I freaking, you know, he snagged on some kelp that's out there. And I ripped it out for him. And it turned out to be a fish. I usually let the bait soak probably like between like five to, oh, real, 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 real. Go on, reel it in, just continue to reel it in. Oh! Woo! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, that's a oh that's a kelp greenling! I've never caught one of those out here. Woo! Whoa! Hey, you don't have to roll it. <laughs> you, don't, <laughs> you don't have to roll it all the way to the tip. Oh man. Dude, that's sick. What is it? It's a kelp greenling. Greenling? Yeah, it's a kelp greenling. Dude, you caught a kelp greenling. I've never caught caught one of these out here before. Is this a pretty good size too? Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's that's legal for sure. I want to say these have to be like 12 inches, I believe. Kind of for like, I don't know, there's times where I thought it was, like a, it was a snag, but at the same time, I kept thinking like, maybe it's going to be like last time where it's not, it's gonna be a fish, and then you're gonna have to reel it in. So I was like, all right, you know, maybe we'll just sit with it a little bit, see what happens. And then I felt a few little tugs, but that was just like, as you told me, it was, it was, the, it was the water, you know, just kind of taking the weight. But after a few, I was like, wait. In my mind, I was like, wait, this might actually be a fish. So I started, that's why, I don't know, I, that's why I don't know if you saw that, I started reeling like crazy for a little bit, and then I stopped. You're addicted now, or what? <laughs> It's a start. I'm so shaking from the adrenaline. Oh yeah, that adrenaline, that adrenaline feeling. It's like no other. That is another species that is caught out here. But it was great to get him on a fish. His first fish, especially a, a kelp greenling, one that I, I, I even haven't caught one out here. The, the last kelp greenling that I've caught was on my kayak. That was probably like two, three years ago. So that is gonna wrap up today. We accomplished the goal is to hook my younger brother up on his first fish at kelp green link pretty exciting honestly i didn't think i was gonna get that uh, into it it's uh you get a lot of uh 
it's kind of hard at first to figure out whether or not you're snagged or if it's a fish kind of yoinking it or if it's you know the waves taking the taking the weight and giving you a false sense of hope but once you once you know you have that fish on and you're reeling it in it it's quite the adrenaline rush um, it's very it's very very exciting um, obviously with fishing it takes a lot of patience you gotta sit there wait for the fish but once you get into that once you get into that that reeling it's it's just I, I'm, I'm i'm still a little shaky honestly from uh from the adrenaline so it's it's exciting very exciting well i hope you guys enjoyed thank you all for joining us on this adventure thank you all for watching and until next time we'll see you on the next episode peace